Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Hell Creek Formation in the Badlands of Montana. This huge fossil graveyard is part of the Lance Formation, which encompasses five states in America and even travels up into Canada with even a richer assemblage of fossils. This is one of the largest dinosaur bone beds in the world, has the most diverse assemblage of fossils, including T. rex, Triceratops, Edmontosaurus, and even Nanotyrannus. To date, this is the sixth dig that the Dinosaur Soft Tissue Research Institute has conducted in the Badlands of Montana. We've been fortunate to discover the largest Triceratops horn ever collected in the Badlands. In that horn, we found soft, stretchy fibrillar bone, which was published in Acta Histochemica and also on the cover of American Laboratory. We're on the hunt again for even more spectacular specimens, and we have something very exciting to share with you. On the first day of our dig, we went to a butte that was not far from where the Triceratops horn had been collected in 2012. We noticed many bone remains had traveled down the canyons onto the floor, so we climbed up to the top butte and searched and immediately found a Triceratops skull. We don't know if the entire skull is present. In fact, actually, we prayed for a jaw that morning, and we suspect that the jaw is still underneath this skull. A very large vertebra and also ribs belonging to Edmontosaurus were also collected from this site and they are in preservative. We look forward to examining them for soft tissue very soon. In 2015, at this same site, the Dinosaur Soft Tissue Research Institute recovered a Triceratops condyle, which is a softball shaped bone at the base of the skull, which allows the skull to pivot on the vertebral column. The results of study of that decalcified bone showed the presence of peripheral nerves for the first time in history in dinosaur bones. This was published in a Cambridge University Press journal, Microscopy Today, a part of the Microscopy Society of America, and we were awarded the cover for our science in presenting the world's first report of peripheral nerves in dinosaur bone. Another world first discovery made by the Dinosaur Soft Tissue Research Institute at this dig site is the presence of clots in vessel canals in the bones of Triceratops horn, frill, vertebra, and rib. This was the first discovery of clots in dinosaur bones. This could mean that they died in an actual asphyxiation event, like drowning. This is called disseminated intravascular coagulation and also hypercoagulopathy. Both of these terms can be Googled and you can see in the medical literature that these are indicative of organisms dying by drowning by asphyxiation in water or wet mud. The Dinosaur Soft Tissue Research Institute is in need of volunteers to help us on these digs. And yes, you can bring your children as well. There are minimal costs associated with your volunteer participation, but you will have a great time and you'll come home with actual dinosaur bones that you prepped and collected from the Hell Creek Formation in Montana. If you are interested in participating on a dig, please contact us at distry.org and let us know of your interest. And thanks for helping. Folks ask us all the time, why do we dig in the Hell Creek Formation? Well, it's one of the most studied and recognized dinosaur deposits in the world. We stopped counting after trying to count how many papers reference the Hell Creek Formation, and we stopped at 230 papers. Uh, it's one of the richest bone beds in North America, so the chances of coming home with a wonderful to uh, find are pretty high, actually. Uh, and we're literally following in the footsteps of world-famous paleontologists who publish routinely. So we're digging at the same sites and publishing on the same sites and showing the soft tissue that they're not finding. Because of this, the average people are taking notice of the work that we're doing, which is great. And the editors are keen to keep publishing our results. So, And finally, we're supporting Christian ranch owners who are 
finally thrilled that their ranches can support creation in the flood. We like to pay them extra when we can. They love working with us because we're compassionate toward their needs and we can bring our beautiful findings of these amazing bones out for others to see in the towns and villages. Thanks for watching.